The Missouri Valley Cabinet and administration is working to wrap up the current academic year while projecting what the college can achieve in the future. Welcome to KMVC News, I'm Austin Bolin. Missouri Valley College held a student forum in early April to give students the opportunity to discuss any issues related to MVC. It isn't every day that students have the chance to speak directly to the president and multiple members of her cabinet, but the forum did just that. Nine students and eight members of the administrative team came to the forum in the Bacon Conference Room. Students talked to administration about Greek life on campus and a possible update to the Missouri Valley mobile app. President Bonnie Humphrey says the college should hold more events like this for students. Well, I think it's a good thing. Uh, we always like to interact with the students, and truthfully, we should do it more. Um, you know, we kind of shut everything down at COVID, but uh, during COVID, but normally what we like to do is one of those each semester. The forums were just one of many events that were sidelined during the pandemic. Humphrey says the lack of face-to-face -face events made the administration rusty. And so there were little things we'd forgotten at the last minute that weren't big, but we just weren't as smooth as we normally are. So I, I believe uh, getting back in the habit of having student forums once every semester will make everybody more aware of it and make it a smoother operation. The last student forum was held in spring of 2020, before Missouri Valley closed down due to COVID-19. The next student forum is scheduled to be held in the fall. The Missouri College Media Association and the Missouri Broadcast Educators Association held a joint conference on April 9th at, the, at Missouri Western State University. KMVC's Sakina Komoru reports on the event that recognizes and rewards student media. Students who study mass communication from universities and colleges across Missouri participated in the conference. There was a job fair and students took different types of mass communication classes such as designing newspapers, sports broadcasts, and photojournalism. Students had a great opportunity to meet other mass communication students across Missouri and professionals. This year, the conference was held for the first time in two years after COVID. Stephen Price, president of Missouri Broadcast Educator Association, says it was really good to be back in person after COVID. I didn't know what to expect as far as attendance and all of that, but I think there was a good number of people here, and uh, it, was, it was nice seeing everybody again and just being able to get together in person. Joao Bonanoni, MPC student, attended the conference for the first time, and he says it was a good experience. Uh, it was really nice to be around professionals in this area, and also great students learn a little bit more about uh, journalism and also broadcasting. At the end of the conference, the MBEA and MCMA Hours Banquet were held. Industry professionals judged students' work, and some students received hours. A list of award winners are available on mbea.us. Sakina Kamura, KMVC News. This year, Missouri Valley College competed against 16 colleges and universities and received 10 MBEA awards. Missouri Valley's work with the Delta also won 10 MCMA awards. 18 days, that's all that separates Missouri Valley seniors from their walk across Greg Mitchell Field for graduation. Not that any of them are counting. That also means interviews and jobs are around the corner. And as KMVC's Kivion Long reports, Missouri Valley College held a professional clothing sale to get students started. Student Pedro Santos gave his feedback on how helpful the professional clothing sale has been to Missouri Valley College students. Got like uh, social clothes, so yeah, big, those kind of clothes that are usually not too cheap. So yeah, it's nice to have like one for less than five dollars. So everybody would would help anyone. Yeah. The clothing sale was able to sell clothes to students for just $5. Pedro Santos talked about how beneficial it has been. Because uh, it's probably one thing that you're going to use for one occasion, one, one occasion, maybe. So, yeah, you don't, you don't want to spend a lot of money in you know, clothes that you're not going to use like daily or that you're going to choose to to go for a you know, weekend or a party or something. So like for a special occasion like that, yeah, it would benefit from like the cheaper prices they have there. Pedro says he believes the professional clothing sale was a very good idea, but just was and not his style of clothes. Like I was interested in it, so I came inside to see what they got, but it's not my kind of style of clothes, but I think it's a good idea, it's just not my style. 
Kevion Long, KMVC News. Missouri Valley College celebrated Easter by hiding eggs all over campus and having students have a great time to win some prizes with the hunt. KMVC's Maria Lopez reports. Many of the students in Missouri Valley wanted to enjoy the four holidays because of Easter. Some of them decided to relax, while others decided to attend the activities that Missouri Valley had to offer. Last Friday night, organizers took it upon themselves to hide Easter eggs all over campus for students to find the next day. One of my friends with two color eggs, and he told me that there was a Easter hunting and that I had to look for eggs. So I started looking for them. And since it was early in the morning, nobody was there, so I found a lot of them. And I ended up finding like 44, 42, and that was very good, a lot of candies. Another year celebrating Easter at Missouri Valley College. We are getting closer and closer to the end of the school year, and we have to encourage the students with different activities. Maria Lopez, KNBC News. Students at Missouri Valley had the chance to attend an event that featured successful entrepreneurs to gain insightful pointers and tips on how to become successful. KMVC's Zahir Williams reports on the 14th Annual Maastricht Institute of Entrepreneurship. From April 11th to the 13th, Missouri Valley College hosted the 14th Annual Maastricht Institute of Entrepreneurship. The three-day event features special guest speakers who specialize in business, finance, and politics. Each speaker at the event spoke to students at Valley about their personal paths and what it took for them to get to where they are now. Within each of these speeches, the goal was to give them words of advice to prepare students for their futures as entrepreneurs. The Maastricht event wasn't only a platform for guest speakers to speak, but also for students to have the opportunity to ask any questions they wanted answers to. And this is what some students had to say about their experience. Uh, I learned a lot from it. I see how other people uh, started their companies the experiences they went through, the relationships they had, and it kind of sets like building blocks for us. They all had their and explained their trial and error in what they've done in their companies. And uh, when you when they explain theirs, it kind of helps us to say, oh, they they did this. We can we can like do open it. Open my eyes to realize like I need to stop procrastinating and actually try in the stuff that I don't want to do because maybe it'll benefit me into doing what I want to do or where I want to be further in life. After speaking to multiple students that attended the event, they seemed to enjoy the experience and found the information they learned to be very beneficial to their future success. Reporting Zaire Williams, KNVC News. Missouri Valley College President Bonnie Humphrey says she thought students found their experience rewarding. MIE was run by business dean Larry Stockman. And Stockman, a, member of lo a longtime member of the Viking family, passed away after a battle with cancer just before Maastricht. KMVC's Cody Hohenberger reports on the, on the celebration of life of one of Missouri Valley's most beloved educators. Business professor Larry Stockman passed away on April 8th in his home, surrounded by friends and family. A celebration of Professor Stockman's life was held in Eccleson Maybe Theater. He graduated from Central Missouri and found a passion for economics and became a professor. Stockman was a professor at Valley for more than 30 years and has spent 18 years as the chair of the business division. In his time at Valley, Stockman has lasted through three college presidents and four head football coaches. A common theme throughout the celebration of Stockman's life was he loved being outside. He loved being a professor, and he loved spending time with his grandchildren. Stockman is survived by his wife, Beverly Katz, his two sons, Sebastian and John, as well as two stepsons, two daughters-in-law, and five grandchildren. In addition to his parents, he is preceded in death by a sister, Shirley Dean, who died in infancy. Larry Wayne Stockman was 71.